Hi guys, welcome back to Algo Test. In this video, we're going to be walking you through one of our most important and one of our most popular discretionary trading features. We're talking about the Algo Test Strategy Builder. So we're going to talk about what the feature is, how you can use it, and a comprehensive understanding of every single feature and button or tool within the actual strategy builder itself. So let's get straight into the video. All right, guys, so I'm currently on the Algo Test landing page and I'm going to click on go to dashboard. In the nav bar, you can see a section that says strategy builder. We're going to click on that and this page populates. So when you first click on that a button, it takes you to this page where you can see that there's a few different strategies that are pre-built, as a matter of fact, along with some other indications. So first and foremost, what is the strategy builder? The strategy builder is a tool, as the name suggests, that allows you to build a trading strategy, analyze its payoff, analyze its Greeks, along with other metrics such as max profit, max loss, probability of profit, POP, and many other metrics. Our strategy builder allows you to do all of those things, but also allows you a very robust mechanism to analyze what will happen to your strategy and the payoff when a certain part of the market or a certain factor changes in the market. But we'll get to all of that in just a minute. On this page, you can see, you can click on any of these pre-built strategies. So let's say, for example, if I want to build an iron condor, just click on that. The strategy is already built for you on the basis of the closest expiry. So of course, you can see that this is a very uh, small max profit curve over here because like I said, it is a day of expiry and the expiry is almost over. But for now, let's just clear all these positions and click on build using option chain down here. So what we're going to do is we're currently selected the bank nifty index. You can choose whatever index you want to do. For now, we'll stick to bank nifty and then we're going to choose the next expiry. You can see this bar over here allows you to select whatever expiry you want. So for instance, Currently, I've selected the 1st October, which is six days from now. Then there's the 9th October that you can select, the 16th October, which is 21 days to expiry, so on and so forth. So for now, I'm just going to select 1st October. You can see over here, it says futures. This tells you the value of the future of the index that you selected. So for now, we've selected the Bank Nifty Index, which is trading at 54,100. And you can see the futures is also trading roughly around 54,100 roughly. This tab over here shows you the India VIX, which by the way, all of these prices and all of these numbers are updating live because we've logged into our broker. If you don't log into your broker, there is no real time price feed and it's all going to be at a delay of one minute. All right. So this is the option chain, which I'm sure all, all of you are familiar with. And in this actual option chain, we've incorporated a synthetic futures section. So you can see the synthetic futures currently is uh, 54,150. So this is this feature is there since a lot of you traders use the synthetic futures and we thought it's best to just put it in right where you can see all the other option strikes. All right, let's build a simple strategy, guys. Let's sell a 30 delta call and a 30 delta put as well. So I've sold the put, now I'm selling 30 delta call. And just to hedge this, I want to, let's say, buy a 10 delta call and buy roughly a 10 delta put. So what I've built here is an iron condor, not the prettiest payoff, but yeah, you get the idea. We've built an iron condor. So as you can see, this is our payoff diagram and you can zoom in and zoom out. So if you just click on it and, and uh, highlight the section that you want to zoom into, you can easily zoom in and zoom out if you so wish. You can see that there is the uh, blue line over here, which shows us RPNL on the current day. Whereas the actual green and red shades tell you the PNL on the day of expiry, right? Pretty standard stuff. I'm going to zoom out. In this section, there are four different tabs. So we'll start from the top left section in analysis, which is the first subsection. The first thing you see here is scenario analysis. We'll get to that a little later. Let's first talk about these metrics. So you have your total MTM. This is your max profit, total risk to reward. POP or probability of profit, maximum loss, margin required to trade this approximately, and your break evens on the downside as well as the upside. Besides that, you also have a strip that shows you your reach, delta, gamma, uh, theta, and vega. And you can multiply this by lot size to get you know more information. And that provides a nice segue into the second tab over here, which is the Greek tab. So clicking on that shows you the IV of each option that you've bought or sold, it's delta, gamma, theta, vega, 
And it also shows you the net positions, delta, gamma, theta, and vega. Right? The net position is, for example, 0.02 delta over here. And you can multiply this by lot size to get, you know, different numbers. So I'm going to toggle that off for now. The third tab is the Monte Carlo drawdown or the Monte Carlo simulator. So essentially, we're not going to go in depth about what a Monte Carlo simulation is, but we've talked about it in bits and pieces in other videos. But if you want us to do a separate video talking strictly about what the Monte Carlo simulator is and how you can use it, well, let us know in the comments below. But for the purposes of this video, a Monte Carlo simulation is essentially simulating hypothetically what would happen if you were to enter a certain volatility estimate and simulate it in X number of times. In this case, let's say we want to reduce the volatility to 10%, let's say. So if the volatility ends up being 10% for this trade from the time that we take it and we simulate it 10,000 times, what is our average MTM? Over here it says 823, standard deviation, median MTM, minimum MTM, maximum MTM, the 95th percentile and of course your average POP. So this is 10,000 simulations. If you want to do more simulations, you can just click it again and you know, you'll get all these different numbers, but more or less it should be around that figure. So we're not going to get into when the average MTM is going to be a positive value, when the average MTM is going to be a negative value, or when is it going to be more or less break even on average. All of that will be discussed in another video. If you want us to make that, let us know in the comments below. The last tab over here says order window, and this will actually populate once we place live trades, right? So we'll come back to this later. Now back to the analysis tab, and let's talk a little bit about the scenario analysis, which I said we will talk about slightly later. So clicking on the scenario analysis, again, we've tried to name everything on the platform very intuitively. So as the name suggests, now you're going to try and analyze what happens to your uh, payoff, your statistics and your strategy pretty much when you change certain things in it. So the first thing you see over here in the scenario analysis is the IV offset. Let me just zoom into this a little bit. Okay. So IV offset, what is this? Right In the Monte Carlo, we were able to put a set value for the volatility that we wanted, right? So we had selected, let me just go back there quickly. We're saying that, okay, if the volatility estimate is 10%, right? And I simulate this 10,000 times, what are my average MTM, standard deviation, so on and so forth. In the scenario analysis, the IV offset means if I want to add or subtract to the current IV, what will my MTM look like? So for instance, we are selling options, right? If we add five to our current IV, of course our MTM should look negative, right? As you can see over here, let me just do that one more time. Right, so the IV offset allows us to increase or decrease the value of whatever the current volatility is and see what happens to our PNL. So for example, in our case, you can see if when the IV, IV offset is at zero, meaning we're not adding or subtracting anything to the IV, the MTM stays pretty much where it is at minus 48. But let's say if I want to add 10 to the IV, meaning whatever the IV right now is, let's say it's 13 and you add 10 to it and the IV now is 23, this is what your MTM looks like, meaning it's a significantly negative MTM. And of course that makes sense because if you're selling options and the volatility rises, that is going to work against you, right? So I'm gonna reset the IV offset. Another thing you can change is, you can change the spot. So you can change what happens when the spot moves a certain amount. So let's say if the spot moves by uh, minus 0.5%, your PNL will look like this. You can see this yellow line uh, move over here and you can shift it down further and further based off of whatever you're trying to analyze. Next thing you can change over here is the date. So currently we're six days to expiry. We can see what happens once we click it ahead and uh, click forward again and see the days to expiry are now four days to expiry. You can see what the MTM would look like. So pretty much if the market is staying where it is and the days to expiry are uh, decreasing, this is what the MTM will look like. Now, of course, you can change just one parameter if you like. You can change two or you can change all three. If you want to get a realistic picture, you may want to change more than just one parameter. So for instance, so let's assume for this strategy, I'm saying that the market moves down about 1%, but uh, it stays more or less there all the way until one day to expiry. In that case, my total MTM will look like this. And let's say I feel like the IV will also drop. So let's say if it'll drop by five points, then this is what my MTM is gonna look like, right? And if this stays like this until zero days to expiry, this is what my MTM will look like. 
So this is how you can use a scenario analysis to make better trading decisions. All right, so that was the scenario analysis. I'm gonna reset everything and minimize this. Next thing we're gonna talk about is actually placing a live trade. So you can place a trade either in forward test or you can trade it live in your brokering account, right? So if you click on view in playground, you will see this auto window pops up and uh, essentially you can also access this by clicking on the positions tab. But this is what pops up and you can uh, fine tune if you want more lots, if you want a specific price, so on and so forth. And you can either forward test this by clicking on the forward test button. Let's just do this and name this as example. Okay, confirm. Right, this is what the forward test is looking like. And it's currently saved over here in strategies, example, open it. So over here where it says strategies, you can just click on that. You can see all of your saved strategies. Click on example and it'll load up. This is the one we just made right now. Now let's actually build this strategy again. 30 delta calls and puts. And now by the uh, call side hedge and the put side hedge. 10 delta. Now let's live trade this. So we'll click on view and playground and click on live trade with and click on IFL, which I've logged into right now. And I'll just name this also as example Iron Condor. Confirm. And over here, you can choose if you want market orders or limit orders and what price you wanted at if you want uh, limit orders. And pretty much you have a look at the bid and ask. All of this information is available right over here, right? So for now, I'm just gonna click on market price for each of these and click on uh, place all orders. There you go, all these two orders are already filled. And now all four of my orders are currently fulfilled. So there you go. Now I'm trading this live. You can uh, have a look at the analysis once again. This is showing me my live PL at the moment is 0.75 rupees. So you can square off an individual leg or you can square off all legs at once, right? Additionally, you can also choose to add a stop loss, but maybe you want to square off one leg and you want to add another leg. You can do that too. So let's say if I want to square off this leg, I'll just click on that and so I'd first square off whatever leg I want to. You will click on this button over here that says square off and then you can click on add external trades and then you choose what option you want or if it's a future, you want to add a future call put, which strike, which expiry and at what price you want it, so on and so forth. And in this way, you can make changes to your existing strategy. So for now, like I said, we're just going to square off all of these positions, square off all, place all orders. Okay, this is the order window. You can see your orders are pending, open. And there you go, all my orders are now filled. So that in essence is how you can forward trade your strategy after building it on the strategy builder and analyzing it. You can trade it live in the market via market orders, limit orders. You can square off a particular leg or you can add more legs. Loads of things you can do. We have showed you how to do all of these things and we urge you to actually try all of this out on your own. But there is one more feature to talk about. So over here where it says strategies, you can just click on that. Let's just pick this strategy, okay? Bank Nifty VRP number two. So I'm gonna click on open that. And this is a previous strategy that I traded. This is a previous trade of mine. And this was a live trade. What you can do is not only can you analyze on the strategy builder, the payoff or actually the closed payoff or how much MTM that we closed on. You can actually click on this interesting button over here that says replay. Let's click on that. That will actually take you to Algotest's simulator. And this is where you can actually see what happened day by day or minute by minute if you so wish. So you can see this, it says strategy is imported. I'm going to click on go to first trade. Now, this is where I placed all these trades on Thursday, 28th, March 24 at 9.47 a.m. Click on one hour plus and you can see, you know, Every hour, how your MTM was changing, what was happening to the market, market was going up, going down, the IV change, all of these things. So I'm actually going to skip to plus one day. And on a daily basis, you can see, all right, this is how my trade evolved. This is how I went from the time that I placed these trades all the way until, you know, when I exited my trades. 
this guys is a game changing powerful tool because sometimes you're not able to analyze what's going on in the live market sometimes it, things are just too fast or you just don't have the time but if you're trading using our strategy builder you can always come back to this strategy and you can always replay it in the simulator and make sure that you're understanding the pnl attribution basically and again you can have a look at the greeks activity loads of things option chain you can see what happens if you're going to add another leg so on and so forth so yeah it's a pretty powerful feature having this replay that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and we hope you're going to make good use of our strategy builder along with the replay feature that is available with the simulator if you like this video please make sure to leave a like and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss an upload thanks for watching see you in the next one